Hi everybody and welcome back to LULB Society. I'm Dr. Hadiri, the founder and creator of LULB Society. This time uh, in this short video I'm gonna uh, make an assessment on one of the IELTS reports on writing task one. It's not an essay actually, it's a report uh, on this visual data which is a bar graph. Uh, I'll give you a moment to consider this Pay attention to the population of seals, whales, and dolphins uh, in the Gourmet Strait uh, from 2006 to 2018. And uh, so, uh, I have just uh, adopted this visual from this source. I can just acknowledge the source from IELTS Janky and uh, even I'm gonna share the, uh, this link with you in the descrip description area and also I'm going to drop the link to this analysis I mean the, the script of this analysis in the description area um, so that if you are interested you can just uh, click on the link below and uh, study this analysis or my assessment by the way you need to be a member of a little bit society to access these lessons okay so here we go uh, write a report about essay on marine life uh, so uh, the bar chart above displays the population of seals whales and dolphins recorded in the gourmet strait uh, straits from 2006 to 2018 summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant so here is the main <coughs> report the graph portrays first of all usually we, we say graph displays and shows the population of three marine creatures whales dolphins and say seals uh, from the years 2008 to 2016 by Gourmet's Strait. First of all, uh, this is a misrepresentation of the visual information actually from 2006 uh, to 2018 in the Gourmet's Straits, uh, not by the uh, uh, Gourmet's Strait and uh, so the second paragraph as it is evident the dolphin population had an upswing growth upswing it means an upward trend in something actually is a noun so the reporter has used it as a, uh, as an adjective which is wrong over these eight years from 2006 to 2018 actually there is 12 years not eight years so you can actually miscalculation of the uh, time period. Moreover, it has the highest population in uh, 2018 among the other two marine animals, whales and seals. The second paragraph, the third paragraph actually. The seals population, so you need to put this apostrophe after S. Seals population where S is after apostrophe there's a difference between for example seals population and seals population uh, when uh, apostrophe is before and after s growth situation is not quite uh, like the dolphins population again actually there uh, had better be omitted it's better to omit there so like dolphins population with the same actually similarity that uh, instead of writing apostrophe s you should write or end it uh, with uh, s apostrophe uh, dolphins population in the years uh, 2006 to 2010 uh, the seals population had a regressive growth we don't have regressive growth because actually growth is a positive word uh, therefore you can say for example downward and uh, so uh, there was a decline in the population you could put it this way actually the the essayist 
uh, was supposed to put it the reporter. Nevertheless, its population ascended in the following years. And remember, ascent, collocationally speaking, does not uh, generally uh, is not or commonly used for population. So we say for population, you could use grow, increase, rise, and these are good uh, verbs for population. And the Wales population, the same mistake. Wales population where uh, we have uh, apostrophe after S uh, was moderately the same between these years. Fortunately, their numbers increased in the last years from uh, 2014 to 2018. In addition, Wales had the lowest population in 2018. Uh, these are good statistics to use in your report. So, and the uh, last paragraph. Overall, the the upward population statistics. Uh, you know, uh, this is not the correct wording. It means the stream of words uh, uh, for population. We don't we don't have uh, upward. We don't use upward per, per, uh, population. Upward generally collocates with trend. So we say rising population statistics and again actually you don't need to use the statistics because when when you say uh, population so the concept of the statistics is also included uh, of these three marine animals whales dolphins and seals demonstrate the people and governments so it's better to say uh, you need to use uh, to put it this way their government their government so usually government is not plur is not pluralized uh, have taken the marine animal community so community is not a good word here because community is used for humans not animals so you could say colony or welfare animal welfare and their life status or living conditions for life status more seriously consequently their population ascended so you could you could say you could rise uh, sorry you could draw right uh, rows increased or grew the past tense of grow or with better and conscientious protection with a more professional caring protection so uh, for protection we don't use called conscientious uh, these two words do not collocationally occur so they do not collocate with each other so uh, you have used some inaccurate collocations it means some words that do not appear next to each other cohesion and coherence 20 percent out of 25 uh, grammatical range and accuracy 17 percent out of 25 and lexical resources 15 because the reporter has used some inaccurate collocations or streams of words task achievement 17 because actually there have been some misrepresentations spelling good punctuation fair word count 158 and uh, you're supposed to write more at least try to use this is the minimum amount uh, or number of words you're supposed to use 150 so it's better to just add another 20 words so you could use more words around 170 words and time and report writing 20 minutes that is perfect and overall I can give their reporter 6 out of f uh, out of 9 and as you can see this lesson call falls into the category of IELTS essay writing so far we have uh, assessed nearly 2240 essays 240 40 essays so here are some tags or keywords, graph, marine, oceans, population, and statistics. And you can see some related lessons. IELTS task one table about age and average income in three states. And also IELTS writing task one on analyzing maps. Also IELTS writing task one on online shopping sales. It's a pie chart analysis. I was writing task one on transport preferences in four places. Another bar chart. And also this is a vocabulary item. 
so you can just visit our website at rilby.net and then actually uh, try all of our services for free uh, before registration uh, every service is uh, provided on free trial thank you very much for your attention and take care and see you soon in our next video